Seymour, Frome, and Cyprus. These are the three mountains that make up the North Shore of British Columbia, Canada. Years ago, wood, dirt, and stone were put together by trail visionaries to create some of the most intense trails imaginable. And this set the stage for freeride mountain biking to make its first real mark on the world. The trail building and the North Shore's infamy have carried on till this day. And I'm here to experience it for the very first time. And in this video, we are starting things off with Mount Seymour. Fortunately, I'll be shown around by my friend Nick, who knows these trails like the back of his hand. And now many of these trails I'll be riding were made for full-on downhill bikes, but I'll be on my new 120mm travel Ibis Ripley AF. Will my trail bike and I be able to handle these iconic trails? And will I meet my goal of riding a proper janky extended North Shore skinny? Let's find out. We started on what Nick called a warm-up trail. Here on the North Shore, apparently that means greasy skinnies, continuous rock work, drops to flat. There we go. And blind jumps. Nice. Welcome to the shore. Sick. Well, the bike's feeling pretty natural, actually. I think I need a little bit more yeah, air. Just a skosh more. Oh, yeah. Bottomed out both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 120 mil bike. Feels pretty good on that. So we can go down to Pingu here which is a uh, pretty jangly jank. Woo now, now, take it easy. Ah, he goes wider. Oh, that is a sneaky race line. He said he was gonna do that. Something sneaky. Whoa. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that was hairy. Holy moly. <laughs> Jumping onto wet roots and more blind takeoffs? Sure, why not? It's all part of the fun, right? Not quite. Oh, is it ever good to have someone show you around? Like I just would have been staring at trail forks for 10 minutes right there. Ooh there, fella. Something. One thing's for sure about the North Shore is that you've always got to stay on your toes. Oh, the smell of cedar in the morning. Doesn't get any better. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, greasy. So there is kind of the ride around. That looks worse. Yeah, the ride around <laughs> harder. Definitely looks worse. Gotcha. Well, I'll tell you what. You do this part, I'll do that part. <laughs> I'll come down this way. Let me tell you what. Woo, Nicholas. Hard on the bricks. Blows the way down. <laughs> oh, it's time to bottom out a trail bike. Considering I'm bottoming out the back, just going down the trail, this might be a clanger. Telly ho. <laughs> yeah, there's a rock there. I didn't see that, but my wheel did. Oh, that's why you buy zip wheels, folks. A little faster. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Look ahead. There's just so much to see, so much going on that it's kind of like you're just looking at the front of your wheel around here. I gotta start being okay with letting go because there is grip. 
on the dirt. Woo! Yeah. Oh, landed in a hole. <laughs> That's what 29ers are for. That was a lot of fun. Oh no. I just love the definition of flow up here. It's a little different. What was really cool about this last bit of trail before the bottom of lap one was the shrelpability of the berms. Shrelping or doing a cutty is where you turn in just before the berm and use your weight to press the rear wheel into the ground to lose grip and start sliding towards basically the top of the berm. Woo! On purpose. It's really, really fun. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry tires, but these berms are just too good. <laughs> Holy crap. Those are the shrelfiest berms in the world. Okay, so now with the warm-up lap done, it was time to dial the bike in, because remember, this is my first day riding this bike on dirt. And then once that's done, we're gonna go hit some double black tech. Boogie my hand. Whoa. My seat. Oh, drop. My seat implanted itself into my leg a little there. Whoa. Oh boy. I was all over the place. I was feeling pretty good until we got to this feature. Given my inexperience with skinnies, I did what I usually do and rode right past nice it. Nice work. But I also knew in that moment that this was it. This is my skinny white whale. Or something. So we turned around and I committed to clearing it. I just hate how low consequence it looks when on camera. Like it looks like it's maybe a foot or two from the ground. Yeah. But it's not. It's probably like maybe four feet from the ground to the top of the thing. It's high enough that you could get hurt. Yeah. So like if you're tipping over off of your bike, which is a couple feet off the ground, right? Like you're a couple feet off the ground. And that's, that's pretty decent. Like me, when I was just watching North Shore videos, I was like, that doesn't look so bad. And now I'm here and I'm crapping my pants. I think this view gives the most accurate look at the height of the skinny. I think you'll, uh, you'll clean it first try. Okay. All right. Rolling or dropping, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little in my head. <laughs> oh man, I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing it. It's intimidating. This section is the only safe section. And so as I get to the end of it, I get a, I get the wobble. Oh, oh, oh. It's about Johan Borelli that with my knee. Rick. Oh, oh. <laughs> you okay? Oh, I'm good. That was total mental. That's all it was. I was fine. Yeah, I thought you had it. That was fine. But as soon as I, I started going offline, I looked where to bail. I didn't, I didn't look where to go. Yeah. I looked where to bail. <laughs> 
I, you really surprised me by crashing. I, I that caught me off guard. Like, I did the hard part. <laughs> All right. I was so pumped about that. I guess I just needed to talk myself through it out loud. Was I made for YouTube or what? Yeah, no problem. Now, I didn't want to celebrate quite yet. For sure. Because there was an even longer and higher log ride up ahead. All right, so go slow. Because it's steep. Oh. Riding these trails for the first time blind really puts a rider to the test. Oh, dang it. There we go. Whoa, that looks greasy to the extreme. Ooh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's slippery. Uh, yep. You know what I really don't mind about all this? Like how I've crashed a few times? Is that uh, I've crashed a few times and I'm still alive. <laughs> Having said that, the two main crashes from this day banged up my shins so much that there was so much swelling that my foot stopped being able to function properly. Yeah, still recovering from that one. Three weeks later now. Oh. This is the never ending log. And it's really high. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that log back there. That was scary. And like, this is really high. There's no doubt that this is also scary. This is higher. It's just a little bit wider. Cool. Yeah, I am blown away <laughs> that the tire, this trail tire, not even like enduro rated tire, has yeah. not shredded. Nick had one last treat to show me, a huge jump trail. I definitely felt like a tourist this first time through. This is Nick's trail right here. He loves it. He is gonna go flying. Some of these doubles. There, no joke. Woo! Take a few runs to get right. Where's this going? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh my God. That was terrifying. <sighs> <laughs> oh, so my glasses are at the end of my nose. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry about that little bike. Sorry about your life. I like to say it'll all be over soon, but I'd be lying. Oh man. So that was my very eventful first day on the North Shore. A huge thanks to Nick for being my tour guide. Make sure to subscribe and tune in next week because I'm going to be hitting Mount Frome with a guy whose last name is Boostmaster. And I'm going to try my luck at a feature called The Gangler. Yikes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Oh.